Good morning, my loves. Hope everybody's having a beautiful Sunday morning. Um, let me just hang out for a minute, let some people hop on. Just look at my beautiful face awkwardly for a moment. Just kidding. Um, it's almost Thanksgiving crazy this year is just flying by um and that was kind of our our homework from coffee and a chat but we'll get to that so where do I want to start we just had a great meeting um I would love for more of you to come hang out with us the gals were saying today that it's now become a non-negotiable for them, which was one of our one of our first takeaways from group is the types of things in our life that are non-negotiables, um, and that if they miss group, um, it really screws them up, and they don't they don't like that. They look forward to it. It's become a priority, um, and that's that's kind of what I want to tread on today. So everything that we take in through our senses, we digest, right? So everything we hear, everything we see, everything we read, everything we say, everything is being digested by us, right? And all of those things are making up our realities and our consciousness. And we get to choose which of these things we listen to and allow into us, right? So it's what are you watching on TV? What are you reading? What kind of music are you listening to, right? It's not just our diet is not just limited to the food that we eat. It's all of these things and they all create our reality and our consciousness. So if we're constantly listening and hearing to negative things, gossip, criticism, judgment, right? And it's so easy to live in this place. It's my default, right? It's super easy for me to slide into a conversation where we're talking shit. We're trained to be there, to criticize everybody. The internet, forget about it. It has created this whole new level of ability to criticize the whole world. You can criticize, you could spend your whole day online scrolling through Instagram and Facebook and TikTok and whatever other freaking apps are out there and just talking shit to people and about people. But why? How does that make you feel? I know now because I've experienced the opposite, that I don't like living in that place. I don't like going low and living in a space of criticism and judgment and negativity all the time just for the sake of doing it. It doesn't actually make me feel better. In the moment, we think it is, right? We're trying to boost our own ego by tearing someone else down, but it doesn't really have the long-term effect of doing that. And that's why we have to keep going back for that hit again and again and again and again and keep tearing others down or keep living in that negativity to boost ourselves, right? Like, oh, look at that. I'm so much better, whatever it might be. So, but when we start to come into the opposite, when we start to surround ourselves with things that uplift us, with people that hold us to a higher standard and we let go of that ego a little bit, we realize that's more sustainable. It's more sustainable joy to live in a place of appreciation for everything around you and non-attachment to everything around you than to be so caught up and wrapped up in everything. A lot of this has to do with our ego. So our card from class today, which I want to read with you, kind of just sums this up perfectly um, through the lens of bhakti. So um, bhakti is a path of yoga, um, if you don't know what that is. So our card today was about personal growth. This is from Radhanath Swami's deck. Um, 
And it says a steady mind. Bhakti, the yoga of devotion, tells us that a life of mantra meditation, service, and association with enlightened people will keep the mind steady and provide the means to overcome bad habits and addictions. And if you want to hear a little bit more about that, go watch today's episode of Wisdom of the Sages because this is everything that they talked about basically in a nice little summary. So we know that the people we surround ourselves with make us up, right? They say the five people you spend the most time with are a reflection of you. you. Just like the things we eat, the things we listen to, the things we watch, the things we hear, the things we see, right? All of these things are making up our reality. So if we bring in more good things, things that elevate our consciousness, things that hold us to a higher level, people that inspire us to be better, that's going to have a huge effect, right, on our lives. It's going to allow us to start to release some of these lower things, some of these addictions and bad habits, because we realize that they're not serving our highest good. And it's hard to just let go of them, but it gets easier once we've replaced them with new good things. I used to love to sleep in all day long. I know getting up earlier makes me feel better. And if I get up early and do something positive and uplifting for my day, I'm going to have an even better day. And they're hard to do these things, right? It's hard practices. It's hard to make these shifts and these changes. But at the end of the day, I know it's serving my highest good. And then I'm going to feel better. So how can we start to influence our consciousness in better ways? How can you start to influence your reality to be a more positive one? than a more negative one. And a good way to start that is gratitude. We talk about it a lot. The world talks about it a lot. Um, but there's actually some really cool studies in science now that, that shows us how having a gratitude practice actually changes the pathways in our brains, rewires us to be happier. I was saying to the girls this morning, um, in group, um, if you're not already satisfied with what you have in life, there is nothing that is going to bring you satisfaction. More is not going to fill that place because it's not something that can be filled with stuff or vacations or this or that or whatever. We're always putting our happiness on something in the external world and that is temporary. That might fail, right? I had a really awesome vacation planned in March of 2020. Guess what? I didn't get to go. <laughs> so if all of my happiness was tied up in that vacation, now I'm be real upset. And don't get me wrong, I was upset that I did not get to go on that really awesome vacation. But there was a global pandemic like, no one got to go on vacation, right? Nothing bad happened to me. Um, I still had myself, my health, my job, my everything. So, you know, at the end of the day, I can still be happy and satisfied with my life because all of my happiness is not wrapped up in some external thing that I'm hoping will fill that happiness. It's here in these simple practices, surrounding myself with people who lift me up, who inspire me to be better. That is how we fill those spaces. So kind of in honor of Thanksgiving, but really a practice we should have all the time is gratitude. And it's something we actually have to practice and work at and retrain our brains to be grateful for what's already here. And then when new stuff comes in, when you get to go on that vacation, when you get that promotion, when that thing happens, it just adds joy instead of also taking away 
once that joy hit isn't there anymore. It's like, oh, wow, this is great. Yay. And you can celebrate. And there's less of a crash, right? Because you're already kind of on a high. So each day this week leading up to Thanksgiving, it's a day of gratitude and giving thanks. Let's practice gratitude. Let's tap in, take a moment sometime in the day when you first wake up. It's a good time to do it. It sets a good tone for your day or maybe end your day. It can be a more peaceful way to drift off into dreamland, right? If you go over all of the wonderful things you have and try not to let your ego take over your gratitude practice, right? So I know this has happened to me a lot when I try to start a gratitude practice. I'm like, oh, I, I need to be grateful for like meaningful things, right? Like I need to be grateful for like good stuff. And it's it's all that, that ego, that little voice in your head saying like, you can't be grateful for pizza. Well, like be grateful for pizza. If you had awesome pizza today, like be grateful for that. It's okay to not be grateful for like, super deep meaningful things those will come those will happen you'll have those moments where they naturally occur to you to be grateful for that thing but like just whatever comes to mind right now type in the comments as you're watching this what is something you're grateful for you know if I had to name a few things that I'm grateful for today I'm grateful for the ability to connect with those who are important to me all over the world, no matter where I am. Um, I've spent my morning on Zoom classes and I just get so much fulfillment from my time with those people. I'm grateful for my puppy dog because she brings so much joy into my life. I'm grateful to be able to travel and be in a new place and have the space to explore my life and my desires and what's truly important to me. I'm grateful for so many things. I'm grateful for the beautiful view out my kitchen window right now of these incredible mountains here in New Mexico. I'm grateful to be able to take a walk every day whenever I want. The list is endless. I can think of so many things. Um, I'm grateful for all of you who hang out with me and listen to me ramble and babble um, and find it inspiring or helpful or give a shit in even the slightest bit. I'm so grateful for you. Um, so what what are you grateful for? Take some time this week. Explore this idea of gratitude. Explore this idea of what's feeding your consciousness, what is creating your reality, and let that expand to bigger than the food you put in your mouth, right? Your diet is everything you take in. What are you putting into your reality? What is building your life? Every little choice, every little thing you do every day is building who you are and the reality that you live in. And you have all the power to decide what that is. I'm going to say that one more time. You have all the power to decide what creates your reality and your consciousness. See if you can start building better with a gratitude practice. I think it's a beautiful way to start. It requires so little. You already have everything you need to do it. I'm going to shut up now. Thank you all so much. I am so grateful to even be able to share and talk about what I want to talk about. Um, I love you all. I hope everyone has a beautiful Sunday, a beautiful holiday, however you're spending it. Um, and I will see everybody next Sunday for more Wellness Off the Map. Goodbye, my loves.